1256 International hooked up to a new hole inside spreader. Pretty good looking deal. Everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out our merch store. We've got a link down below in the description for that. Get some of that uh, sweet merchandise we got. Um, today we're going to be, it's nice and warm today, it's December 2nd. I think it's supposed to be about 40 degrees, so that's a heat wave for this time of the year. Um, we're going to clean out some heifer sheds, it's supposed to cool off next week, so get them cleaned out before it freezes up. Um, going to use this I got this old it's a new Holland I don't know the model number but I call it a chain spreader barrel spreader whatever there's a lot of different I've heard a lot of different names for it but basically how it works you got a drum that runs down the whole length it's got these chains on it with the paddles on them and then it just spins and as it gets emptier the chains spread out now this thing it needs all new chains and paddles. It's pretty worn out. All the paddles I think that are on here are just ones that I've made out of angle iron or whatever. Actually, there's a spot in the back. I noticed there's a few of them that are missing again and even some of the chains are short because it's not quite cleaning out in the back. But it, uh, I paid 75 bucks for this thing probably five years ago. I don't think it had a paddle on it when I got it, but it works all right for what I, I don't use it a lot, um, but I like it. I'm using it now because I'm going to be hauling on a hay field. So one thing nice with this, it takes a little longer to empty it without all the paddles like they're supposed to be, but it breaks it up really nice so you don't have big, huge clumps out in the hay field. So uh, that's that's mainly what I what I use this for. Otherwise, I use it on my little box spreader. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get this loaded up and we'll go and see how it works. shut this top one too but um, this more packed manure I like to leave it open because then I can see sometimes if you get a twine or something wrapped around that drum it'll hold the chain down and it won't it'll have a spot that won't empty so this way from the tractor I can see it doesn't really affect I think if you were spreading sloppier manure um, you'd probably want that down to what kind of direct it more but with this stuff it works better with it up
Hey, Nelly. Wasn't our very first video us cleaning out this building? Yeah, I think so. East. I hope you have a successful deer season. Uh, we were asked by some of our viewers how we cook some of our venison, so I'm going to share one of our recipes today. What? So here's our list of ingredients. We'll have garlic powder, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, lots of butter, salt, pepper, and strawberry jam. It could also be substituted with grape jelly. And then we have our venison. So I will have the amounts in the video description. I'll list the recipe. I will be doubling the recipe, but I will put the original one down below video description. So I'm gonna grab the venison and we'll get started. 
So I'm gonna add the butter and then we'll stick it in the microwave to melt it. So there's all four sticks. Okay, so there's our four sticks of butter. They're pretty much all the way melted, but it doesn't matter because we'll stick everything back in the microwave one more time. So then I'll be doing two cups of strawberry jelly. Like I said, you can also use grape. It's just your preference or what you have on hand. Pause it now. Okay, here's our second cup of jelly. Like I said, I'm doubling this recipe. I will have the original one in the video description. Okay, there's that. Then the next will be the tablespoons of soy sauce and Worcestershire. So like I said, I'm doubling it, so I'll need two tablespoons. Yeah. I can't get it to open, it's stuck. I need your help. <laughs> Thank you. So good for something. <laughs> oh, I splattered myself. Okay, there's those. Okay, then I'll do two teaspoons of garlic powder. of salt and pepper. I'll mix that all up. I'm going to throw it in the microwave again just to help break down some of the lumps of the strawberry jam. Okay, so it's all microwaved up again. It took about a couple minutes. So now all the pieces are a lot smaller. So the first thing I'll do with my dish is kind of put a layer of it on the bottom. And then I'll start adding the venison. This is the back straps from Alan's dough. And the original recipe calls for about a pound and a half of, like I said, any of your really tender cuts of venison. But like I said, we go through a lot. So I kind of just doubled it and I have enough venison that looks pretty good in a nine by 13 cake pan. about two layers worth in there, which is pretty good. Then you just take everything else and just pour it over the top. There we go. Now I'll stick this into my oven, which has already been preheated to 350 degrees. We'll bake it for about 45 minutes. So it's out of the oven and I'll just let it cool down a little bit. And this is what it looks like. Looks pretty good. And then we usually like to take some of the little bit of the sauce mm -hmm. and put that over mashed potatoes. And there you have it. 